Hey, hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to day nine on PHP for our beginners. That is brought to you by the tiflage.com. Guys, today we will go ahead and we will learn about PHP arrays. So, very simple as always. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new file. I will name it to array.php. Okay, drag this file with your text editor. Again, we're going to open our PHP closing tag and we're going to use the PHP, I'm sorry, PHP opening and the closing tags. <clears throat> Guys, what are arrays and how it can be really useful to use an array? Let's say I have five different names. So I'm going to say dollar name is equal to Kevin. And then I have, you know, dollar name one would be equal to John. Dollar name two would be equal to uh, John or whatever names you want to use. Okay, then dollar name oh my gosh name three would be equal to Kate. Let's say oh, I have only these four names. Okay, now I want to echo all these four names. What I have to do is I have to say uh, echo dollar name one actually without these single quotes so come and run this particular file array.php <clears throat> here it says Jahan now I want to echo the next name I have to do name two so it says John okay or if I want to echo Kevin I have to say name or if I want to echo everything, what I have to do is echo dollar name, then echo a break tag. Okay, then you know echo the next name like this dollar name one. So this is the way I'm gonna use and you know in, in a very standard format. So I have to you know create four different variables, then I have to echo them out one by one in a different manner. This is something uh, arrays can be really handy for you. So you can say dollar name, that would be equal to an array, like this. Okay, so we are saying this dollar name is equal to an array. So the very first name would be Kevin. The next name would be, say, John. Next name would be Kate. And the last name would be Shohan. So I have these four names. Now I want to echo any name. What I have to see dollar name zero. Come back. Okay, one second guys. I have to see echo actually up here. Okay, it says Kevin, right? Now you would be thinking I said echo name zero and it says Kevin. Why? Because in arrays the numbers will start from zero. So the first position will actually won't be first, that would be zero. Second position would be first, third would be second, and fourth would be third. So if I'll say echo name three, it will say Johan. That's on the fourth position. Okay, so this way you won't have to create, uh, you know, four different variables, or if you have 10 names, you won't have to use 10 different uh, variables for those 10 names. You can only create one variable, and you can, you know, uh, tell them uh, that's an array you can put them inside the arrays and then you can echo them out accordingly and in, in order to call any array you will have to pass this particular parameter so these would be these two brackets inside that would be the position that you want to call so right now uh, position 3 is this uh, Johan that is actually 4 according to us but according to PHP that would be 3 this would be 0 this would be 1 so it can be really useful uh, to use arrays. One more thing I want to cover is how many type of arrays we have. Guys, the one we use today are the simple arrays. Then we have multidimensional and we also have the associative arrays. So we have three type of arrays that we can use. So for today, I will only cover a simple array. You can, you know, guys practice about it try to create a very small script, try to use arrays, then use FL statements, whatever you learned till now, try to use that. And uh, <clears throat> if you guys, uh, what I would say, 
you know like you guys can only practice about that and in the next video i will go ahead and i will discuss about uh, the associated models till that time goodbye